Mr Finn. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr President. I rise to most warmly congratulate the organisers of the Conservative Political Action Conference that I was honoured to attend in Sydney over this last weekend. It was a brilliant event. In fact, a few times it was so good, I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. Despite what some prominent leftist loons were suggesting, speakers at CPAC Australia 2019 were predominantly Aussies who have had a gutful of political correctness and being dictated to by elites. This conference was a verbal smorgasbord of common sense and logic. Yes, there were some outstanding speakers from overseas. Congressman Mark Meadows, Chairman of the Congress Freedom Caucus, confused me though just a little uh, as the term caucus is not something I've ever actually associated with freedom. Nigel Farage held a packed ballroom in the palm of his hand. What an inspiration it was to hear him. I almost hope Boris Johnson doesn't deliver Brexit just so we can see Prime Minister Farage in Downing Street. I'd also like to thank Senator Christina Keneally for promoting this conference. Such was, the strength of, such was the strength of bookings after her hysterical intervention, many believe she may have been working on a commission basis. A trophy has been struck for the greatest contribution to promoting CBAC in future, and it is my fervent hope that one day I will walk away with the Keneally Cup. CPAC Australia 2020 is already in the planning and I am very, very much looking forward to being there. Conservatism is a people's movement and CPAC has kicked it along very nicely.